Craftsy friends, welcome to a super fun crafting video. I am Alex and I'm here to show you these amazing crafts we came up with. We're going back to school and we can leave Barbie behind. We're going to make the cutest miniature school supplies out of these simple materials so Barbie can study along with us. With few super easy steps, we'll have the most fashionable compliments for this back to school season. So come along with me and watch the whole video to see the result. For this first craft, we're going to make a backpack to steal the spotlight. We're going to need some sparkly glittery foam, a zipper, and some stiff cardboard. First step is to create the base for our amazing backpack. Using a ruler and a pencil, mark a little square of 3 by 3 centimeters on the stiff cardboard. Once you have your cute square all marked down, grab a knife and very carefully cut around the markings you made. Put the square we just cut on the sparkly foam of your favorite color as a base and draw a flap on each side of the square, just like this. Now that we have this funky shape drawn out on the sparkly foam, take a pair of scissors and very carefully cut it out. Make sure you don't cut the flaps. Now we're gonna mark a little rectangle using the stiff cardboard square again, in a rectangle that's going to be the size of the backpack. Let's grab an eye for scissors and cut out the rectangle. This step is a little tricky since we need to keep the foam around intact. Ask for help if you need to. Our little hole is done. Let's grab the zipper and put it in place underneath the foam. Once you have it sized to the hole, cut the excess with scissors. We have the main parts of our craft, so we just need to start assembling everything. Using clear glue, start gluing the flaps to the big rectangle, like so. Doesn't it look great? We simply folded the sides to give it this amazing look. We just need to add an extra flap to make the closure. For decoration, I'm going to grab this super cute glittery red foam to cut out the heart. It's super easy to make it if you fold it in half just like this. We can't forget about the handles and the straps. For this, we cut two strips of 6 cm each and a smaller, thinner one of 2 cm. Then just glue them on like this. And finally, a plop of clear glue to attach or train this sparkly heart to complete the look. It looks amazing! I love its teeny tiny zipper and the cute heart at the top! Barbie will sure to be ready for school! Now we're going to make a really cute pencil case. Barbie will love it! Let's get some pastel color foam. And a zipper! As a first step, we're going to grab some rounded lids in different sizes and mark them down on our foam. One size on each color and only half the circle. Now that we have all our pieces marked down in our favorite colors, we're going to cut each semicircle super carefully with a pair of scissors. Did you guess it? We're making a super cute rainbow pencil case. Once you glue all the circles together, attach it to the zipper just like this. Now that the glue has dried, we can use a strip of foam to close everything off, just like I'm doing here. I chose this cute sparkly pink foam. Doesn't it look cute? I love it! The shape is amazing and it's actually functional. Barbie will for sure love her brand new case. We have to make sure Barbie has enough notebooks to write all the information down. And to make them, we need some sheets of paper, foam sheets in your favorite color, acrylic paints, and some elastic cord. First step up is to make the tiny sheets of paper. So we're going to mark up lots of squares of 4 by 4 centimeters in the white sheets of paper. Once you have them all marked down, grab a pair of scissors and very carefully cut them, making sure you do it as straight as you can. Now that we have all of our little squares, we're going to fold them in half and measure them in top of some foam in your favorite color. These will be the covers. To make sure the paper sticks together, we're grabbing a bunch of sheets together and we're going to add white glue to the spine. Let's cut the covers from the foam we marked. You can use either scissors or a knife, but always being careful not to cut yourself. It's decoration time! 
For this notebook, I'm going to paint a nice pineapple with some acrylic paints. Remember to decorate however you like the best. I like it so much! I bet Barbie will love her new pretty notebook. Let's measure the elastic and glue it to the back cover. All that is left is to attach the sheets of paper to the cover we made. To do this, I'm putting a line of clear glue right down the middle of the cover. And here we have the trendiest notebooks Barbie could ever dream of. They are super soft and they close with the elastic. Isn't it cool, friends? We have the notebooks and we have the pencil case, but no pens. Let's make some pencils using toothpicks, acrylic paints, and aluminum paper. Barbie has very small hands, so we need to make these pencils just her size. Ask a grown-up to help you shape in the toothpicks to size. For the base of the pencil, we're using yellow acrylic paint and a small brush. Next step is to paint the eraser on top using salmon pink paint. Once the paint has dried, we can add a thin strip of aluminum paper just like this. And finally, let's add the lead at the end of the pencil using jet black acrylic paint. These are super adorable! They are just like the real thing! They have an eraser and a metallic part. Barbie is sure to stay up to date now. We're going to make a cute little pen holder so Barbie can store all her new pencils. We'll need a plastic cup and some colorful foam. For this next craft, we're going to cut our plastic cup to fit our supplies. And then, using clear glue, let's attach a strip of foam to it. What about a nice little decoration using this fantastic golden acrylic paint, like a cute star? And we're done! It's super small and super useful. I'm sure Barbie will love it. Next stop is a material that's too big for Barbie's hands. Let's get a thin plastic, like this sleeve. Some acrylic paint, a hole puncher, and a needle. We're making some tiny scissors. Print out a reference of the size you prefer, and then use it to trace the silhouette on the plastic lid. Cut both legs of the scissors apart from each other. Very carefully, use a knife or a human-sized scissors, just like I'm doing here. Once you have both pieces free, align them together so we can punch a little hole through them using the hole puncher. And to make sure they stick together and are actually functional, we're going to stick the needle right through the middle, where we punch the hole. Time to paint! For the blaze of the scissor, we're going to use a metallic silver paint. And finally, jet black acrylic paint for the handles. But you can use your favorite color. Take him out amazing! I can't believe we managed to make them functional by being so small! Did you like how they came out? Our final craft is going to be a complete masterpiece. We're going to make a locker using some stiff cardboard, some cotton swabs, a few toothpicks, and acrylic paints. We're going to need a good couple of stiff cardboard pieces. Four 14 by 6 centimeters, one of 12 by 7 centimeters, two of 7 by 3 centimeters, and finally three of 6 by 6 centimeters. Once you have all the pieces marked down, grab a ruler and a knife and very carefully start cutting them out. Call a grown up for help. We can start assembling now. Going first with the biggest pieces of the locker. Now, I'm showing you how all the pieces are going to get glued together. Try and follow me the best you can. We have left this 14 by 6 centimeter piece that's going to be the door. Just draw the guide and for the hinge, don't completely cut the piece. Time to grab our cotton swabs. And using a pair of scissors, we're going to cut some little pieces of the stem. Just like this. Let's grab our door. And by the hinge, let's start adding some clear glue so we can stick the little cotton soft pieces for detail. And for added strength, we're going to measure and stick inside a piece of the wooden toothpicks. 
The last piece we needed to go to the door is the handle, which we made from stiff cardboard. It's finally time to paint. I decided on a nice sky blue acrylic paint and I'm going to make sure there's not spot on painted, even on the inside. Look how amazing this came out! Now this is a really nice looking private locker for Barbie, so she can store all her books and homework. So cool! And we're done with the crafts of the day, guys. We made everything our little dolls will need to go back to school. Like these rat notebooks with elastic closure. The pen holder with all of our cute pens and amazing scissors. The trendiest backpack of them all. This amazing rainbow pencil case. And of course, this super cool locker. I really hope you like this craftastic video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe and ring the bell. Don't forget to hit the like button and I will love you so, so much. Bye-bye.